All right, I am alive once again. Monetize your uh, hobbies for free. All right, so what we are doing today is we are talking about, hopefully everyone can hear me. If you can hear me, you can see me, please let me know so that I can. Okay, it looks like I'm using the right, using the right audio. Um, yeah, if you can hear me, you can see me, let me know, please. I'd appreciate it. Well, what we're going to do is we're just going to talk about how you can monetize your hobbies with affiliate marketing. Hey, how's it going, Todd? Good morning. Happy to have you aboard. Mm. Yeah. So tomorrow, I'm just going to put a note in here. Anytime I'm thinking things, I've got to write it down or I will forget. We can hear you great. So what I want you guys to do is I want you to list your hobbies. List your hobbies. And I'm going to tell you how you can monetize them. Morning, John. How's it going? Uh, oh, five-day challenge starts tomorrow. Just so you know, we got a five-day free challenge. It will be joining tomorrow. It'll be beginning tomorrow. It's in a free Facebook group. Uh, let me know if you are interested in joining that, and I'll let you know. Uh, I should put free here. Free. John. Hey, John. So we got two Johns. Two John. Um, so what we what I want you to do is I want to I want you to list your hobbies. And um, I'll show you how you monetize them. Hi, Anytime Tech. How's it going? So I'm going to say list your, whoops, list your hobbies. All right. So, for example, people in this area love to fish. And I'm going to show you and tell you how you can monetize that. Really simple, but it's better for both you and me. I want you guys to comment what your what your hobbies are <clears throat> so let's say for example you've got a hobby of fishing fishing is something fishing and i'm just gonna make a running list of hobbies so uh hobbies so someone loves the fish it's something that they genuinely enjoy talking about and something they talk about all the time First, within fishing, you got to talk about the different types of fish. What types of what are the different types of fishing? There's bass fishing. There is fly fishing. And I'm not a fisherman, so if you have other ideas, let me know. Um, fly fishing, bass fishing, um, you know, saltwater fishing, salt, saltwater fishing. What else? What else is out there? What are the different types of fishing? Hey, Christopher, how's it going? So we, you know, we've got, we've got a bunch to talk about, but what are some of the things that a person would need in order to um, have the most fun? What does a person want when they're fishing? They don't want to just fish. They want a snagging spoon bill. I don't know what that is. Um, uh, they want to catch more fish, right? That's the goal. That's what people want. Think about why people have hobbies. People want to start fishing because they want to catch more fish. People play basketball for the cardio, the exercise. They want to score more points than, um, than, than their friends that they're playing with. So uh, start listing what hobbies you have or that you're interested in. And so when you think about that, you think, okay, um, how can I help someone catch more fish? Well, we can help people catch more fish by uh, talking about what works and what doesn't work. So, um, again, our goal is how can we help someone um, be better? I'm just going to say how can we help someone catch more fish? Again, List your hobbies, 
and I will make this more about you instead of about what I want to talk about. Um, what are some ways that we can catch more fish? We can share what works, what works. We can share what doesn't work. Uh, we could share places to fish. We could talk about um, different fishing tools. All right. And so, again, I am not a fisherman, but you can start applying this to whatever it is that you're interested in. If your hobby, thanks for the likes that are coming in. If your hobbies are about watching football, you can do the same thing. It, the hobby doesn't matter. You just have to think about what the end user wants and needs. And when you start thinking about it that way, um, start answering questions. May I please have 40 bucks? Sure. Here, let me give this to you right here. Can you see that? I'll give that to you. Now, this is probably not worth 40 bucks because it's not real. This is fake money. So I'd be happy to give it to you. Hey, Heather, how's it going? Let's see. It says behind here that it's motion picture fake money. But yeah, I'll give this to you. You want it? I'll give you two of them. Neither one of them are real, but I'd be happy to give them to you. Um, anyway, start thinking about how a person can achieve their hobby. If they're inter inter interested in fishing, how can they catch more fish? How can it be more enjoyable? I'm doing good. How are they? Everybody's doing good. Um, yeah, everyone's doing good, I think. Anyway, so how can people catch more fish? Fishing, what works? So you can tell them, you can show them how to correctly bait the fish. You can talk about the different fishing laurels that they need. Most likely, you have all of the things in your, uh, everything that you need to help someone achieve a result. You probably have it already on you because it's a, a hobby of yours. You don't have to go out and buy anything, which is really cool. It's seasonal. You snag them from the bottom of the river and March, from March to April, that's the only time you can snag them. They are anywhere from three foot. Okay, cool. Um, so my, my, my granddad, blah, my granddad used to um, catch catfish and catch, he would catch crabs off of, um, off of the ocean, Atlantic Ocean. And so, yeah, that was one of his things. He needed to bait the fish. And so what you're going to do is you are simply going to create content, helping someone that has less knowledge than you understand what it takes to get one step further. Your job as an internet marketer, if you want to make money online, is to help someone go from point A to point B. Now, point A is probably someone that doesn't catch a fish at all or make catch one or two fishes infrequently, you want to help them to, every time they go out to fish, they catch three or four. And so when you think about it like that and you share your knowledge and your experience, it is very possible to help and be very successful. Now, what you want to do is you want to start thinking about where you want to create the content. You want to start thinking about how you can monetize this. And really, you can do all of this for free. And I'm going to show you some ways to do that in just a moment here. Uh, encourage your viewers to share your live and invite more friends. So, so share the live, invite more friends because TikTok told me to. Anyway, so what we can do, I'm just going to show you because YouTube's a little bit easier. You can go up to the search bar on YouTube and type in how to underscore fish. And so what's going to pop up are things like how to clean fish, how to catch more fish, um, where to do these different things. But what I really like, if you're brand new at affiliate marketing, is look at the products that you have. Look at the products that you're using and start talking about those things because it's going to be much easier. You're going to talk about why you bought the thing. For example, if we go over to Bass Pro Shops, uh, Bass Pro Shops, and we look under fishing, you can see, look at all of this different stuff that people need in order to fish. Rod and reel combos, fishing rods, fishing reels, bow fish, laurels. And I always say laurels weird. It's weird. Line hooks and weights, fishing accessories, tackle boxes, saltwater fishing, ice fishing. So here in Wisconsin, uh, one of the it's been too warm. 
One of the things that people love to do in Wisconsin is ice fish. Unfortunately, it has not been cold enough at all here off of Lake Michigan. If you don't know where I live, I live right on Lake Michigan. And so people have been unable to ice fish, but that's a big thing here in Wisconsin and I guess other northern like Minnesota and, and Michigan. But people are looking up fishing sunglasses, fishing apparel, fly fishing. These are all different subtopics that you could talk about. So what I would do is I would go look at your hobby, um, fishing, for example, and let's go look at the different lines and start talking about which line you use and why this line that you use is better than anything out there. For example, if we look at fishing line, now again, I don't fish. And so I wouldn't know the difference between whatever it is. But what I do know is how to get traffic and how to get people interested in something that I am talking about. So what I would do if I was on TikTok, for example, I would say, here's why you're not catching as many fish as you need. Or um, here's why you are taking home bait and not fish at the end of the day. And um, I, if I wanted to touch reels and lines and stuff, that's that would be my hook. But on YouTube, people are looking up the name of the product. So, um, and I didn't do this beforehand. These fishing lines apparently cost anywhere between $24 and $51. I didn't realize that. But if we copy the Power Pro, Power Pro Braided Spectra Fiber Microfillet line, we copy this and we paste it right into YouTube, you're gonna see that people, people are looking up this actual line. Look at this, 11,000 views, 719 subscribers. 2,000 views, almost 6,000 subscribers. So again, you don't have to talk to people about how to make money online. You don't have to sell them some crappy course where you know someone's done it for you and you aren't building any brand or authority. You can show up authentically on camera because it's something that you genuinely enjoy talking about. And all, all you're doing is looking into your hobby, whatever you have lying around regarding your hobby, and you just create content about it. You figure out the questions that people are asking. Look at this. You figure out the questions people are asking about your hobby, and you answer them. How do you get to Facebook groups? Hey, Clara. How do you get to Facebook groups? You, you join them. Um, in fact, you know, that's a good question. So what I would do, if I was looking to, and and what I think everyone should do tomorrow should be interesting. I can't wait. Um, what I think everyone should do is create content, show your face, show up authentically on camera. But if you wanted to use Facebook, Facebook is going to take longer, and but it's possible. So we can just type in fish or let's do fly fishing, or let's do Wisconsin fishing, Wisconsin fishing. And showing up on camera is actually easier than some of the other platforms out there, some of the other things to do. Because all you need to do is look into the camera and you start talking, right? That's it. You look in the camera and say, I caught 10 fish yesterday and here's how I did it. But let's say you want to get into Facebook groups about fishing. Go to Facebook, search Wisconsin fishing or whatever it is. Go to groups. And I'm going to like public groups. And then I'm just going to join a bunch of these. Now, the key is uh, I make 1500 average doing affiliate marketing. Yeah, it's, it's really profitable and really simple. Uh, it can be really profitable and really simple. It's not easy. It's simple. Affiliate marketing is just answering questions solving problems. That's all it is. But really, in, in reality, if you want to make money online, you just have to answer questions and solve problems. Affiliate marketing is just one avenue to do it. It's the, hey, thanks for the follow. Um, affiliate marketing is just one avenue to do it. It's the fastest path other than creating digital products because you don't have to do research and development. You don't have to create your own product. You don't have to get it approved by different things like the FDA, FDA, for example. The cool thing with affiliate marketing is that you can partner with established brands. Like people know Bass Pro Shops, 
right? People are aware of this Power Pro braided spectra fiber microfilament line. They're aware of that. And so they have a trust in it already. That's why affiliate marketing is so powerful. You can essentially partner with major brands, major companies, and, and kind of piggyback off of that. Okay. Anyway, uh, so again, you join them. Now the key is, and, and the reason why most people get affiliate marketing wrong on Facebook groups is they get in and they just spray and pray. Thanks for the likes. I appreciate it. So if I type in affiliate marketing and I look into this group, you know, the cool thing is, is I've, I've, I was made, I think I was made an administrator and I didn't create this group. Anyway, so like if you look at this and hopefully TikTok, uh, hopefully YouTube doesn't ban me for some of this stuff. But if you look at this, thanks for the likes. I appreciate it. People struggle in Facebook groups because they, they just get in and they spray and pray. They don't add any value. They just gimme, 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 buy, buy my stuff, buy my stuff. And if you look through here, and again, YouTube might, <laughs> might slap me on the wrist for this. Um, okay. That's interesting. Um, so if we look at this need student who are not lazy and can work online with their smartphones every Saturday is payday signify of interest. You're going to get a bunch of low quality people interested in this, but what I think you should do instead is create helpful information and create helpful content. And the reason, and the way to do this is really simple. Go to Canva like this, go Facebook, Facebook post, uh, Facebook post landscape is fine. Do blank post. Um, and then, you know, with your colors, so your brand color, and then we could say like, um, text affiliate marketing tips like this come up here um like this and then provide a helpful tip thanks for the follow i appreciate it provide helpful information and then down here at the very bottom if you have a website down here or a youtube channel or an instagram account we can do like um follow put in my instagram handle let me grab my instagram 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 grab an instagram logo like this put it down in the corner and then i just my my instagram handle and you will be 900 percent ahead of most people simply because most people in facebook groups they spray and pray they spray out an affiliate link and they pray to God that somebody will click on it. And the second thing that happens is, for example, let's say I create a helpful post within this Facebook group. What usually happens is someone will click on their avatar to learn more about them. They click on that. Uh, you get some sleep. I actually sleep probably about 12 hours per day. Um, they click on the avatar and they want to learn more about this person. But their avatar, their account is set up like this. There's no trust. There's no, um, th there's nothing there to help them go further. But if you look at my account, you look at my avatar, you click on this like that. Let's see, we'll go to Alston. And if we look at it, uh, what's happening here? So let's go to my account one more time. And boom, Alston Godbolt, affiliate marketing coach, helping you earn affiliate commissions on autopilot. I show who I am, what I do, and how I can help them. And I will pick up a bunch of people for free joining my mailing list because I simply help them, let them know what I do. So if you're looking to do Facebook, and I think you should do Facebook in addition to other um, opportunities, <clears throat> make sure that you have your cover photo set up. Inside your cover photo, have a picture of your face, don't have a picture of somebody else in your cover photo. Explain who you are, Alston Godbolt, what I do, and how I can help you. You do those three things, you can start picking up leads. Now, 
You don't want to rush. Thanks for the likes for coming in. You don't want to rush and try and sell them stuff. I read somewhere, and I'll, I recommend everybody read. I read somewhere that people need to see you 11 times across. Thanks, Alan. Uh, people need to see you 11 times across four different platforms in order for them to trust you enough to buy. So we play the long game. We don't just spam our content and pray to God that that somebody buys. We play the long game. We provide helpful information and helpful content so that people are rushing to give us money. Okay. A lot of people will sprint and try and say, buy, 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 buy my thing. You got to buy my thing. Why aren't you buying my thing? And then they look desperate. They flame out, they burn out and they say affiliate marketing doesn't work. What we need to do is the actual other thing. We need to slow play it. Hey, here's some helpful information. Here's more helpful information. Here's more helpful information. Here's more helpful information. You think I'm going to sell you something? Nope. Here's more helpful information. And they're going to say, damn, he gives me so much helpful information. What the hell is he selling? I am at, like, if he's giving me this much good free information, what's behind the paid stuff? And that's how you build a business that works all day, all night for the long term. Give them, again, people need to see you 11 times across four different platforms in order to feel comfortable enough to buy from you. Guys, let me know if this is making sense. Good. Uh, someone on TikTok says it makes sense. How about over on YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter? Is this making sense over there? We hit them with helpful information. Now, how we do that is going to vary based on the platform that you're on. For example, on YouTube, people are searching for help. On TikTok, they're searching for help, but not as much. And so you might wind up getting in front of people that aren't ready to buy yet or aren't ready to um, receive the information just yet. And so you've got to talk to them a little bit differently. On YouTube, with a blog, on Pinterest, you can do it more keyword search uh, friendly. On TikTok, you're going to be saying things like, you know, here's why you can't catch fish. You know, if you want to catch more fish, do this. Now, the meat of the content is going to be the same. So on, on, t on YouTube, I might, I might say, here, here are seven tips to catch more fish. That's what I would say on, on YouTube. On TikTok, I might say, the way you're trying to catch fish is stupid and will never work. And if someone's interested in fishing, they might say, I'm not stupid. What's what are, what are, what, are, what is this person doing wrong? Uh, logged on late. I'll rewatch the video. Awesome. Very much. Todd says very much. Todd, very much what? Uh, very much. It's making sense. Okay, good. Um, so on TikTok and YouTube, the core of the content is the same. How you attract these people will be a little bit different. Uh, so again, if you want, list your hobbies and I'll, I'll give you some ideas on how to get started. But yeah, this works for any platform. This works for Pinterest and Instagram and LinkedIn and YouTube and Twitter, you name it, it works. It's just the front end part of attracting and keeping your target audience is going to be a little bit different. You're still going to provide the same meat. You're going to uh, provide the same closing on it. But anyway, uh, in 2024, I recommend everybody get comfortable being on camera because it's a, it's going to be really the only way to differentiate you from the, um, the AI, the robots that are out there. AI and robots aren't great at humans just yet. And I think most people are going to be incredibly skeptical of, of how, if they can't see someone, they're going to be incredibly skeptical if this is a real person or not. Uh, let's see. Right. Awesome. So do you guys have any questions for me? And so, you know, one of the things 
the, the, the reason why I know what I know is because I've been able to accidentally do this a few different times. And when I say accidentally do this, um, I accidentally did this with my first YouTube channel about security cameras. And I didn't know what I was doing back then. I still really don't know what I'm doing now, but uh, hey, thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. Um, but, you know, you kind of stumble on things and you don't realize why it's working. What platform do you use for YouTube to help you find keywords? Is there thorough YouTube? So there's a few ways to do it in order to find keywords. It sounds like you need to show people how whatever you're trying to sell can be useful. Give them a reason why they should buy it. Got here late and missed. You didn't miss it all, Claire. You're right on time. So um, there's a couple things that I do for, for YouTube. One, I do what's called the alphabet soup method. I'll go to YouTube, go up to the search bar, and I'll type in the name of a product. And then I'll look for review, unboxing, first impression. If I wanted to start a YouTube channel showing people how to start YouTube channels, I'm going to come up to the search bar and type in how to start a underscore YouTube channel. Okay. I'm going to come back to the front of this underscore and I'm going to go through each letter of the alphabet. How to start a weight loss. Look at all of these options. How to start a woodworking YouTube channel. In fact, I think I have a video on that. Um, I don't. I think, let's see, what is mine? How to start a survival? Survival YouTube channel? Let me see, start the channel. Um, anyway, so um, one thing that you can do is simply, uh, I don't even see it out here anymore. Hopefully it didn't get deleted. Um, the simplest way is to use what's called the alphabet soup method. Go through each letter of the alphabet and pick out keywords. That is the long way. It's kind of tedious, but that's the best way to find the keywords. Another thing that you can do is you can go to, you can type in your keyword, uh, how to start a survival YouTube channel. I'm going to look for, for a result, maybe this one isn't, how to start a weight loss. Oh, here we go. How to start a weight loss channel. If we listen to this, not the ad, but if we listen to this, Guy sounds familiar, doesn't he? All right. So if we look at this, all of these were based on the alphabet soup method. Every one of these videos that I made are based on the alphabet soup method. I haven't uploaded over a year. I have about 5,000 subscribers. I got most of those subscribers with one video. Um, if we look at this, now this is how I know what I know. This is how I know what works. This channel has 5,000 subscribers. My most viewed video, Can You Monetize Motivational Videos in 2022, has 34,000 views. How much does Unwind with Tasha K make? 28,000 views. How to monetize reading books on YouTube? 24,000 views. So a channel that has 98 videos, 5,000 subscribers, is has a number of videos that has more views than subscribers. Look at this. So uh, how to start a luxury YouTube channel, 5,000 5, views. So one, two, three, four, that's five, whoops. So we're probably looking at close to 20 videos that have more views than subscribers. So that's how I, like, again, I accidentally find some of this stuff. And then once I find it, I share it with you guys. But anyone that tells you that YouTube is too saturated, show them this. Um, show them a YouTube channel of, of an account that has 5,000 subscribers, but about 20%, 25% of his videos have more views than have, has a higher view to subscriber ratio. And this is something anybody can do.
um, which is really interesting is people will look up how much YouTubers make and these are all estimations, but they spur a lot of conversation, a lot of engagement. Like if we came up here, how much does, uh, how much does blank make on YouTube? Look at this. And then we can go through each letter of the alphabet, Q. How much does Riz and Quan make? I don't know who that is. But you could go through each letter of the alphabet. How much does Wilderness Cooking make on YouTube? Look at this. 217,000 views, 6,000 subscribers. He has better thumbnails than I do. Um, what I did with my thumbnails is I went and grabbed an image. I went and grabbed an image of the person. Uh, if they had a logo... I'd grab that, but anyway, uh, what was I talking about? Let's so what platform do you use for YouTube? So there's a couple ways that I, do, I would do it. Keyword research using the search bar, because that's what a lot of people are doing on, on YouTube is they're actively searching for something. Also, I would find competitors in my space. So um, let's go back. Let's do this one. So how much is wilderness cooking make on YouTube? This guy, Creators Mafia, I'm going to take a look. I'm going to take a look at the videos that have done well over the last two weeks, three weeks. So there's a video that has 19,000 views. So what I would do is I'd write down that I want to make this video. I'd write down that I want to potentially make this video. And I'd make a list of maybe 10 or 15, thanks for the likes that are coming in, 10 or 15 YouTube channels that are in my space. And then, um, and then I would look and see what they're doing. See, see which videos are working well for them over the last uh, three or four uploads and, and recreate that video, but make it better. Actually, I like his thumbnails. Um, and if I were him, and he's basically following pretty much the same process. Anyway, um, you can also use a plugin like TubeBuddy or VidIQ, and you can start typing in your keywords there. So if we look at this, uh, tools, keyword explorer, launch keyword explorer, and we could say like, how much does um, YouTube pay, for example? And you're gonna see it's really competitive, but then it also offers some suggestions on potential opportunities <coughs> or options that you could create content um, it sounds like you need to show people how whatever you're trying to sell and one of the things Bruce Wayne is yes and no you want to so Bruce Bruce Wayne says it sounds like you need to show people how whatever you're trying to sell can be useful give them a reason why they should buy it what I try and do and not necessarily, I, I try and show my expertise in a given topic, not necessarily the the, the thing that I'm trying to sell. Um, I'm, uh, first and foremost, I'm trying to help solve a problem. And that's really important to build trust with people because if you can show them that you can solve a problem, solve their problems, they'll follow you. And if they follow you, they'll start consuming more of your content. Like, Bruce, you've been on basically every live stream for the last couple of weeks. You've been on my live streams when I was early in the morning, like today, and late at night in the evenings. And so you, at least my perception, my I perceive that I'm helping you solve a problem. And so you keep coming back for more. And there will be a time where you say, He's offered so much valuable content. He's helped me so much for free. Let me see what else he's 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 got. Uh, Happy New Year. Just got on. Did I miss a lot? No, I don't think so. I haven't seen your name in a long time. Is this the same tricks from like a couple years ago? Um, but anyway, <clears throat> you simply, the, the goal of the front end of stuff is to demonstrate value. 
and demonstrate value by helping them solve problems. Give me an observation. You have last chance. <laughs> Leave. Because here's the thing that you've got to understand, Jared. What you do has zero impact on on, on on my life. You could leave, you could stay, you can hang out, you can go, and it means absolutely nothing to me. So leave. Have a good day. Um, TikTok is crazy. Anyway, um, yeah, so Bruce, continue to provide value, help solve problems. And the reason why I create a bunch of videos is to, whoops, I probably should get off of this video here. Um, the reason why, <laughs> you love me too, um, I create videos is to help solve problems, to help answer questions. And it builds that trust. It builds that relationship. And sometimes it takes one video to build that relationship. Sometimes it takes 20 videos to build that relationship. And if you understand that, you'll be motivated to continue to create content and to be helpful and to add value. Does that make sense, Bruce? Uh, we've been on for about 36 minutes, so it's not bad. Anyway, that's how you do Facebook groups, add value. Um, what, I'm, what I tell everyone, add value, solve problems. Add value, solve problems. Don't worry about anything else, but add value, solve problems. And then, you know, the people will start following you. People will start engaging with you. People will start asking questions. And it's really as simple as that. So, Tina, what I was doing is I was help, I was asking people to list their hobbies. Um, and the only hobby that I got was the hobby that I came up with, which is about fishing, which is something I know absolutely nothing about. And so in 2024, I encourage everybody to create content about your hobby, about your thing. You're, well, you're welcome, Nick. Um, because it, it won't feel slimy. It won't feel spammy. People will get into affiliate marketing, making money online, digital entrepreneurship, and they'll start telling people how to make money online, and it won't feel right to them because they've never made money online. However, if you get on the internet and you start talking about your hobby, it'll feel right. It'll feel natural. It'll feel okay. And you'll have fun doing it. A lot of people will procrastinate and a lot of people won't find success with digital entrepreneurship because whatever they're talking about isn't aligned with them. And there'll be people that create content about weight loss. They've never lost weight. They've never gone on a weight loss journey. However, they genuinely enjoy talking about soccer, and that's something that you could potentially monetize, talking about soccer, talking about cricket or basket weaving, whatever your thing is. And then the argument will always be, hey, someone's already talking about that thing. It's too saturated. It's too, um, there's too much competition. But in reality, there's only too much competition if you're trying to tell the same story as everyone else. And I think I tell this story in every one of my videos, but I, I talk about one of my videos on TikTok. I talked about how I learned that you couldn't put aluminum foil in a microwave. I think I, I mentioned that every day because it's, it's a funny story, but that's a story that everyone, everyone knows that you can't put aluminum foil in a microwave or most people don't know that. Most people know that, but they can't pinpoint where they learn that. And I tell a story about how I learned you can't put aluminum foil in a microwave and how that ultimately led to me making six figures. And the story behind that is <clears throat> every day someone comes to the internet because they don't know something. They need help with something. They need a problem solved. And I wrote a blog post, can you put aluminum foil in a microwave? And that one blog post got hundreds of views every single day because there are literally thousands of people that don't know you can't put aluminum foil in a microwave. And they wanted to make sure, or they want to know why you can't put aluminum foil in a microwave. And so they come to the internet, you put foil 
in a microwave. And so they come to the internet hundreds of times per month and they ask that question. They want to know why. They want to know what happens. And you just write blog post content to help solve that problem and answer that question, then you can monetize it. But that's what led me to understanding and realizing that you don't need to be an expert. You just need to be one or two steps ahead of the people that are behind you and be willing to teach them whatever it is that you you know. Um, again, I go back to sports because it's one of my hobbies. It's something that I genuinely in, enjoy and love to talk about. Um, talk about basketball. I could talk about football and stuff like that. I originally started talking about security cameras because I had learned a bunch about security cameras. I'd become like a local expert. And so I started answering questions about how to install the video doorbell onto, um, uh, onto a home how to install a video doorbell on a on a house. And again, there were thousands of people that didn't know that. The security camera guy, whoops, not the secret to make money, the security camera guy. Bro, I have interest in gadget and home appliance. There's a YouTuber called the Valet Consumer. He created listicle uh video about gadgets and promote amazon affiliate links can you tell does he make money he probably does if he keeps doing it so if we look at the security camera guy and we look at videos the most popular this video right here has 263,000 views from five years ago i only have 1.8 thousand subscribers on that channel but this video has 263,000 views and it's a video showing people how to install a ring video doorbell without an existing doorbell 250,000 views do cct cameras work without the internet 22,000 views can you watch ring video doorbell on your computer 21,000 views again this account has one has 1.8 thousand subscribers 110 videos so i don't when people tell me that affiliate marketing or YouTube is too saturated, I'm just like, it's because you're doing it wrong. I think I already know the answer, but when is the right time to start selling recommending products to someone? Do I focus on problem solving and wait or start right away? I think it depends on, I think it depends on how you go about it. Like this video here, how to install ring video doorbell without existing doorbell. I would put an affiliate link to the ring video doorbell because people are asking about this actual product. Do CCT cameras work without the internet? I'm going to send them to a landing page because I know that they're interested in CCT cameras, but they might be interested in BNC cameras. They might be interested in commercial or residential. It really all depends. So that it, it, it really, really all depends. Like, can you watch Ring Video Doorbell on your computer? I'm going to provide them a link. Now, this video four years ago, the answer was no. The answer is now yes. But um, it depends. It really all depends. What I personally like to do is I want to get people on my mailing list so that I can follow up with them. Because people, it's, it's most often, you're not going to see the same people all the time. The same people aren't going to see your content all the time. Um, can you can CCTVs record sound? I'm going to send them to a landing page. Of course, I'm going to put some affiliate links down below, but ultimately I want to I want them on my mailing list so I can continue to follow up with them. Seven best places to install security cameras, 13,000 views. So whenever somebody tells me that YouTube is too saturated or whatever they come up with, I tell them they don't know what they're doing. And it's really as simple as that. People will say all day, every day, uh, YouTube is, is hard. It's hard because it's probably whatever you're talking about is not aligned with, with whatever your interests and passions are. And it's because you're trying to make content that, that, that people that have hundreds of thousands, if not millions of views, already have. Bro, did you do so for the most viral video on the security camera guy channel? 
bro, did you do so? I'm not sure what you're asking. Did I, the, I if you're asking, did this generate affiliate links? Yes. This one, and I actually made a YouTube video about this a while ago. You're right. Everyone have a problem that can be solved. Yes, there are, there are literally, literally millions of problems that people have every single day. And they're simple problems. What's the bus route in my, in my neighborhood or in my community? You create content about the bus route. People create content about the best places to eat near, um, let's see, the Bears are, are playing in Green Bay. The best places to eat near Lambeau Field. That's a problem people are having. Um, people like people from Chicago are going to go up to Green Bay. They're going to stay in a hotel. The usually most people stay. Actually, you know what? The Bears. Fun fact here: the Bears actually stay in a hotel in Appleton, which is about forty-five minutes away from the stadium, because the hotels in Green Bay are booked months and years in advance. Fun fact: uh, I used to I used to live up there. I used to live in Fond du Lac, which is like 45 minutes from Appleton, which is like an hour and a half, whatever. Anyway, <clears throat> side note, side quest. But think about all the problems that you solve in a given day, and you'll realize that everybody has to go through these problems. Everybody needs to, needs to solve these problems. And oftentimes, if they've never encountered the problem before, never encountered the problem before, they're, they're going to go to the internet and ask for help. Where to buy? People ask where to buy stuff all the time. How much does something cost? People ask that all the time. But yes, how much money you made from the single video by promoting affiliate link from the most viral one? I'm not sure, but I, I know for a fact that I've made um, I've made thousands of dollars from that one video. I made a YouTube video about it. Um, yeah, I made a I made a YouTube video about it a while back, talking about this one video and how it has brought in thousands of dollars in commission, both directly and indirectly. Um, I saw a video on how to start up a grill fire. Yes, yes. Basic things, basic things. Think about any problem you've overcome. There are literally millions of people that will eventually find that problem and need help overcoming it. I've searched things like how to start my fire pit. I have a gas fire pit and I couldn't figure out how to start it. So what I do, I went to the internet and I searched and it turned out that I needed some sort of special key that I couldn't find. Lo and behold, I had to go buy that key from Amazon. Do you think that guy had an affiliate link to that key? You betcha. So again, you don't have to promote how to make money online. You don't have to promote a silly course that is done for you. Go out, figure out what your hobbies are, figure out what your skills are, figure out stuff that you enjoy talking about. And there, I guarantee you, there's a monetization opportunity. There was a guy a couple days ago, last time I did a live stream, his he's into his job is about AutoCAD, so like there's software related to it. I told him, whatever the primary software that you use, make videos about it. Yeah, and the Grill Fire video had like 1.9 million views. Yes, every how to make product video without having product and promote affiliate links. Get the product if you want to be successful. But I'm telling you, prime consumer, use the stuff you already have. You have more than enough stuff in your home. Just use the stuff you have. You already have. Um, whenever I smoke a beef brisket, I watch the same video. And in that video, he has links to other stuff like grill gloves, grill gloves. I don't know why I watch that video, but I watch that video every single time. And I've use the same grill go grill gloves but if i were creating content about smoking meat you can be an affiliate for like traeger grills or any of those different companies you could be an affiliate for meat <laughs> omaha steaks they have an affiliate program don't i i don't have stuff you have a you're talking to me via 
a phone, a smartphone or a computer. You have an internet connection. You have stuff. Anyway, smoking meat. Traeger Grills, they have an affiliate program for meat like Omaha Steaks. You can, the smoking pellets, you can buy those online. There's affiliate programs for that. There's all sorts of stuff, everyday basic stuff that you can monetize. And you don't have to be sleazy about it. That's the cool part. You don't have to like hype yourself up. A lot of people will try, will have to hype themselves up to create content because it's possible that it's not aligned with who they really are. And you'll find that with people that get into the make money online space and they've never made money online, they got to hype themselves up and motivate themselves. I even saw videos on how to floss and pop pimples. Yes. Videos on everything. Literally, you think of a silly video, how to fold clothes, how to, you know what I mean? How to wash dishes, how to set a dishwasher, how to clean a bathroom, all basic stuff. Now, how to set a dishwasher, there's a college kid, there's a high school kid, there's someone that's gone out into the world for the first time, they, they've they seen their mom do, dish, do the dishes, they've seen their dad do the dishes, They've seen their older brother do the dishes. They never had to do it, but they've got a sink full of dishes. They've got a dishwasher and they don't remember what to do. So they go to the internet and they say, oh, wait, I got to go grab the dishwashing uh, fluid. I got to go get this other stuff and spray it in there. And guess what? You could monetize that. Do you, you have, let's see, I make video, I can make videos like top five best under 200 and promote affiliate. I guarantee you, Prime, you're probably not successful because you are doing just that. You don't have the product. You're not on camera and you're probably using B-roll and AI voice. So instead of doing all of that, why don't you just create content like I've been mentioning for the last 50 minutes, create content on something that's actually a hobby of yours. I use product marketing material to make reviews and comparisons. Does that work? Uh, do, uh, do you have an Amazon affiliate account? I don't know why that matters, but. So again, if you can teach people something, basic everyday things, you can be successful on the internet. Basic everyday things. It is 11 o'clock. This is about the time I start preparing to watch football for the day. Do you guys have questions for me? Questions, comments, concerns, deep thoughts? If you are looking to get up and running with starting an online business, I recommend that you guys check out gboltsystems.com. Um, it is an all-in-one solution that will help you launch your online business. Included with Gbolt Systems, I have a zero to 1K affiliate marketing uh, workbook. I have a digital product creation workbook, and we also get all the tools that you need to be successful. I am also running the two day, not the two day, I'm also running a free five day challenge. If you are on TikTok, you can go to my bio and find that challenge and get up and running from there. But uh, I definitely urge you guys to check it out. Gbolt Systems, there's a 14-day free trial. You just pay a one-time new account setup fee. After that, you get access to all of the stuff that you need to launch an online business. And um, we can get up and running. Do you guys have any questions for me? You can just use your voice and show how to solve the problem. Yeah, you can. Just use your voice to show, solve the problem. The only issue with that is that it takes longer to build the connection. Just like you're still here in front of me because you can see my voice and I'm talking directly to you. People that don't show their voice, it takes longer to find success. It takes more content to build trust. Um, all right, so any other questions for me today? If not, the goal is to go live daily. I wasn't feeling great yesterday. 
so I, I didn't go live. But uh, the goal is to go live every single day to help answer questions and solve problems. Please make sure that you like, comment, follow, share, do all of that good stuff. And come back tomorrow for tomorrow's live stream. Live stream. You guys have a great day, and we'll talk soon.